Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Diggs. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't planned on making a video before the New Year's. I thought my last video would be the Pay It For It video, but I happened to go to my Big Girls Club on MySpace and go through the inboxes, and I realized that this video has to be done. Um, if you're a new viewer, new follower, or just basically tuning into this video, you probably don't know that I have a big girls club so just to let you guys know I do have a big girls club on MySpace it not only includes big women as models as dancers as singers as just a regular house mom um, it also includes photographers and therapists and psychiatrists people that you can network with um, the purpose of this video and the reason why it's called Dear Gigs is because I haven't been to my MySpace in a long time. I'll say like a couple of weeks. And I finally go on there. I added all the friends that sent me requests and everything because whoever comes from YouTube would go to the sidebar and see that link. They'll go to my MySpace and add me. Also on my Facebook, I have the same link. They'll add me on there. Twitter, they'll add me on there. So I want to add it, people. But I get a lot of inboxes, notes from people that has questions because they see that my self-esteem radar is up here and not down here. And they don't have that same type of self-esteem radar. So they ask me a lot of questions and some even write notes. And this note right here kind of disturbed me. And it made me feel bad because it brought me back to my old self because I've been in this situation before. So the reason why this video is called Dear Gigs is because this person wrote me this letter. And I'm about to read it to you guys. And I'm going to answer it as a video response. And for 2010, if you guys have anything that you want to talk about to me, I'm going to leave my email address in the info box from now on, as well as the Big Girls Club email address in the info box. So if there's anything that you want to talk about, write me and let me know what's up. Now, this letter, oh boy, I'm, I'm just going to get right into it. She wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to, you know, give out any of her information or anything. But this is what it says. Dear Gigs, I'm a subscriber of yours on YouTube, and I am a part of your Big Girls Club here on MySpace. I am 23, and I have my own place. I'm into college and work as an intern in a major company here in North Carolina. I'm a BBW, and I met my boyfriend of five months at a BBW club. I always had issues about my weight and he was making it hard for me to be comfortable in my own skin. I mean, he always calls me big or fat when we get into arguments. And sometimes he embarrasses me if we are out together at a restaurant by telling me I should try a salad in front of the waiters and starts laughing. He thinks he's a comedian, but he only laughs at his own hurtful jokes. I love him. But I don't know how to tell him how much he hurts me and how hard it is to be struggling with my weight. What should I do? Now, I had a video back back then um, about, it was a video response to Baby Tigger 23's about us BBWs and um, basically self-esteem. And after reading this letter, I found myself in her shoes because I've been in her shoes before um first of all after reading your note I went to your profile and I seen the pictures of you and the pictures of the guy that I think that you're talking about I'm not sure but if it is him he's a hot mess I'm just gonna keep it 100 and you are too cute you're beautiful you are actually not a person that I would expect to have low self-esteem to be honest it's not about looks though it's about how a person treats you and this man is degrading you in front of other people and he is stumping on your self-esteem for real 
and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I couldn't put all the blame on this guy, but I'm pretty sure it comes way back from just this guy. I'm pretty sure that you've been hurt before and being ridiculed before this guy even came along. I'm going to put the blame on you. And and I'm, let me just explain myself before I get any negative comments or anything. I was in a situation before. Same situation. But the guy, he did not want to take me anywhere. He denied that we were together from, to other girls. He basically hid me like he didn't want nobody to know that we were together. He also verbally abused me by calling me big and fat and everything. But he tried to really, really hurt my feelings. And it did work. I had to sit back and think. This here is not his fault. It's way back. It happened way back from my brothers and sisters. They probably thought they wasn't hurting me back then. But they really was hurting me. And I let them know. Hey. Y'all are hurting my feelings when y'all say stuff like I'm big or whatever. And they stopped doing that. You have to realize your self-worth. That's why it's called self-esteem. I'm not trying to be like Cat Williams. But I'm just being real. Validate yourself. You cannot love anybody else. And how could you possibly love anybody else if you don't love yourself? If you loved yourself, you would know as soon as that man came out of his mouth with fat or big, you would stop him right then and there. And he would have went on his way or he would either know, look, I can't try her no more because she don't play. But if you don't say anything and you sit back and take this verbal abuse, I blame you. You have to love yourself. Validate yourself. Then be with somebody else. And first of all, you've only been with this guy for only five months. So get rid of him. Straight up. Get rid of him and work on yourself. When you work on yourself and love yourself, others will follow. And that's how I had to learn. I started putting my foot down and I started letting them know, you are not going to talk to me this way at all. You can either hit the door or either you can realize that I'm not taking it. And that's how you have to be, my sister. And I'm just being real with you. Love yourself before you try to love anybody else. Because who's to say, you only be with this guy for five months. Who's to say if you be with him for two years, you're going to get to the point where you're going to start believing everything this man tells you about yourself. That you're going to think he is the only guy that wants you. But that ain't true. Love yourself. That's all I have to say. Now, anybody else that watches this video, go ahead and comment and let me know what you think. And I'm just being 100 with this whole situation. And like I said, I'm going to put my link in the info box. So if anybody else have an issue or a problem or anything, just hit me up and I will try to help y'all the best way I could. Now, I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings or anything. And I'm going to say us women, not only BBWs, skinny women, black women, white women, Puerto Rican, whatever. Us women, we try so hard to be like somebody else when all we have to do is be ourselves. And when we be ourselves, we will find out that we're happy with ourselves. And that's all I'm going to say. This is your girl Giggs. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hi.